Shoggy Shogs TV show brings you the best of sports stars, songwriters, broadcasters, footballers, inspirational speakers, and special guests from every corner of the globe straight to your screens. This show will bring you information, inspiration, empowerment, awareness, and entertainment on the TV through the mobile apps and online. It's Shoggy Shogs in the building. This is Joyce Ochili. I'm a gospel artist. You are watching Shoggy Shogs TV show. It is Shoggy Shogs in the building. Hello, my wonderful viewers. It's Shoggy Shogs in the building on your wonderful TV show dubbed Shoggy Shogs TV show. I have a wonderful guest today. Uh, I always have wonderful guests, but this one is, she's quite interesting. Guys, you know, I always represent, you know, um, I've, I'm kind of born again a little bit now before I could even put my Abete Aja on my coat, <laughs> on my suit. Um, it doesn't mean that I still won't venture into that some, sometimes, but um, yeah, I, I dress crazily in my own way, but I always love to represent. But she represents as well. She's got all this colorful, I'm going to let the cow of the bag, you're going to see yourself, but she's got all this color and all these beads. And I'm like, hey, I'm not jealous, but I'm just maybe slightly a little bit jealous, but you, you're going to see her. But even beyond that, she's a, a very inspiring woman who is a superwoman, if I can put it that way. And you, you say, there's a superman, there's a superwoman. And when she comes on, you understand what I mean. So uh, my guest today is Joyce Ocelle, a wonderful singer, a wonderful songwriter, and um, a super mom, a super woman. <laughs> and she's a career woman as well. So we, we venture into that a little bit. But um, once again, I want to welcome you to the Shoggy Shogs TV show. We're beaming all the way from Birmingham. This is my city of birth. And um, we're actually rocking to the whole world, but we are based in the United Kingdom. And the great news is that we're broadcasting on a wonderful platform called LCBN TV. If you want to enjoy this beautiful show and even the other shows that we bring to you, very easy. All you need to do is just note all these wonderful channels and platforms, but it's going to be on your screen as well. So this show will be on Freeview Channel 271. That's Freeview Channel 271. Also on Sea Love World. I'm not forgetting the website itself, lcbntv.com. And um, some of you know about local TV. Most TVs have local TV. It's very popular in America as well. It's going to be on local TV and the wonderful Amazon Fire TV. If you've got a smartphone, an Android, iPhone, iPad, has to be a smartphone. You can easily download our app. It's free of charge. You just need to search for LCBN TV UK. That's LCBN TV UK. And you can download the app free of charge and watch this show and the other wonderful shows that we bring to you. So guys, I'm sure your, your mouth is watering already. Mine is watering. <laughs> Let's get into our guest today. So once again, um, I have this wonderful, beautiful woman of God, I call her Joyce Ocelli. <laughs> oh my gosh. I was How are you doing? <laughs> um, good, good. And thank you for that really, really, you know, wonderful introduction. Wow. Yeah, I wasn't I was... flattering you. So they're, all, they're all true things <laughs> that I was saying. But um, straight into my questions and uh, let's just get into it. You have such a beautiful name. I don't know what Joyce means, so you tell us and you better know what Joyce means. But it just reminds me of joy. Yeah. So I don't know if there's any connection, but um, you tell us what that means. But how would you best describe yourself to someone that doesn't, hasn't met you before, is mm. just a stranger? Mm. And don't forget the meaning of Joyce. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you said it. Joyce is literally, you know, my, my dad got my name from the Bible, from the book of Philippians chapter four, verse four, wow. rejoice. <laughs> and I say rejoice okay. again. Yeah. Rejoice in the Lord. And I say rejoice again. Wow. Yeah. So Philippians four, verse four, you can check it out. So it's rejoice. But my dad is, you know, quite funky. <laughs> <laughs> So, so he funkified it, so it. Yeah, he took the, you know, the re out and just made it Joyce. But that's literally, you know, where my wow. name got birthed from. So it's all about joy. Okay. And um, a lot of people that I've come across with, you know, you know, all my life have always said that I um, embody my name because I'm, you know, one word. It if you want true. to sum me up, it's it joy. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm literally always joyful. Wow. Always smiling, always happy, yeah. you know. It doesn't mean I don't have low moments, but I'm always, you know. <laughs> 
That's, I'm just that person you meet and you just get wow. joyful energy from me. Yeah, yeah. Um, so like a stranger meets you and, uh, and like, yeah, you're quite an interesting lady. But how would you best describe yourself? So how would you do that? I would describe myself as um, re resilient. Okay. Um, joyful, like I said before. Yeah. Joyful, resilient, strong. Yeah. Okay. Um, and as a worshipper. Wow. Yeah. So you love worship? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's my life. <laughs> hey guys, I can attest to that because um, <laughs> uh, we do have our little sessions before we started and Joyce just posted her into singing and like, you know, she said, oh, can we please sing? See, these things, the things that happen in Vegas are supposed to remain in Vegas, right? You guys are not supposed to know that, but like, um, yeah, basically she's like, you know, can I sing? I was like, yeah. And this beautiful bird, like soprano voice just came out and just serenaded us so yeah you know that reflects you and uh, mm. i think it's very important obviously to worship god to thank yeah, god definitely through every circumstance and um yeah. wow i think i'm going to tap that from you as well like mm -hmm. you know in everything just worship, worship. yes worship yeah. wow, wow 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 okay you're based in manchester yes why bolton greater manchester why manchester um, why not my city well, <laughs> why not my city baby although i live in london um, actually, we, you know, I moved to Manchester um, in 2017. We used to live in a place called Aberdeen in Scotland. Wow. Yes, um, but it was uh, basically work. Uh, my husband's job, you know, brought him down to Bolton. So yeah, the full family just relocated wow. um, to be with him. Yeah. So you to be Scottish? I oh, I, yeah, right. I'm, I'm really, you know, I've always been Scottish. I'm Scottish at heart, you know, because wow. that's like, <laughs> yeah. That's where, you know, that was my first city of being, in, you know, when I first came into the UK, yeah, which yeah. was in 2008. So that's like my hometown, if you know what I mean. Yeah. You must know Eloho then. Oh, yes. Ah, yeah. That's yeah. a business of mine. Yeah, she is. Actually, uh, part of my show is on um, Hats on Life Radio. So. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so, guys, we're, we're connected. <laughs> we're always connected. And that, yeah. that is so great. She's a very lovely, um, very wonderful, wonderful person. Yeah, yeah. She's a lovely friend of mine as well. Yeah. yeah. Wow, wow, wow. So, hello, a little shout out for you there. Man. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's get into um, another thing that really intrigues me about you. What also brings joy to my face is uh, uh, how you sung so much to the point that you disturbed fellow commuters in Nigeria as your mom when I sleep with it. <laughs> so guys, if you're not African, like we have all these, I don't know exactly which, uh, which vehicle uh, Joyce was in, but we have uh, all these uh, big um, cars that we call Danfo, or we call Molue, and you know, we have coaster buses. And obviously you have uh, different passengers in their commuters who uh some are stressed because they have to go a long way some they have to wake up early because of the traffic and some just want you, they just want to be left alone Hello. you know sometimes we have some people that actually preach in the bus and be like you know can you please just take your preaching elsewhere but what joyce used to do was like just sing and you know her mom says you're disturbing everybody so let us relieve that experience with oh you my God. as narrated by you and I, she does it till today wow. like, yeah, yeah, okay i still do it and now even my daughter yeah. um does it to me now oh. because it's just it's i can't help it you see like even when i'm in the office I, I i can't help it so everyone around me knows that at some point i'm going to burst out singing wow. and i don't even know i'm doing it wow. until someone says well, you're happy today. Or, you know, so, when I was saying, yeah, so yeah, when I was very little, you know, me and my, me and my mom would be on the bus and I'll be singing. She'd be like five, 10 times because she'll say it and I'll be like, oh, how sorry. Little? Like, do you remember how I was little? probably about five, six. Wow. Yeah, I was quite, you know, oh, I sing all the time. I know she'll say, Joyce, stop. Um, you know, this, this is a public space and I'll stop actually because obviously. But then 10 minutes later, I'll start it again. Wow. <laughs> yeah, so, and now it's kind of like, you know, when she comes to visit, because she, she's in Africa. Okay. And maybe we're in the shops, like Asda or Aldi, and I'll burst out singing. She'll be like, Joy, stop. This is the shop. You know, so it's like, it's nothing's changed. And then the same goes for my daughter as well. And me, me and her were in a shop or something. Yes. And then I just sing, or we're walking on the road together. She'll be like, Mom, stop. And I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> I'm at it again. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. That's really it, yeah. And, and how did you know you were going to become a singer, apart from obviously the, the singing being you know, uh, in your DNA. Mm. Did you get it from dad, mom, or was there someone in the family that you tapped it from? Or was it just the surrounding with music being played and let us into that? My extended family, have, have most of them are quite musical. Okay. So there is music in my family. Okay. Um, however, I, it's, I think it's something, it was, I was born with it. Um, wow. It's just always been there. I mean, I didn't think that I would do it professionally, yeah. but it's always been there. And I've always been in choirs, you know, directing choirs. Yeah. I've always been like, that's, that's always what I've been doing. Wow. So, but doing it professionally was a whole other matter. 
but it was definitely my passion, yeah. my love, and it was something that that was one thing I knew I would be able to use to serve God mm. wholeheartedly. Wow. So that's always one thing I did. A lot of African parents at times they serenade us with just music, so they <laughs> play music all around. You either have a neighbor or even in the house, <laughs> and. Before you know it, you know, it's, it's surrounding you. You remember yeah. all these songs, like for mm-hmm. me, it would be Sonia Day, it would be Bonnie M, Abba, a lot, because those were the songs that, you know, mm-hmm. that your mommy was, mm-hmm. you know, listening to. And I had to like it because you listen to it over and over again. Yeah. So can you picture any of the songs that was around around you when you were growing up? That probably was influenced a, you a little bit. Yeah, there was a lot of Pan and Passy Paul, you know. Wow. These, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, it was, there's a lot. He's still lot singing, that. He's know? still singing, I yeah. know, you know. There was a lot of that, definitely a lot of it, you know, bring down your glory, oh, yes. and, you know. Yeah, that was... It was, yeah, bring down your glory, bring down your, you know. Yeah, that was <laughs> everywhere, really, you know. Yeah, yeah, I really quite like that. So, yeah, that was one of them I can remember. Um, and we went to church a lot, you know. My mom always took us to church. My parents always took us to church. So yeah. I was surrounded with, you know, lots of worship music and all of that. So yeah. that definitely influenced me. I just always loved... When I saw the choir singing, even when I was little, I, was, I just always pictured myself singing with them. So that definitely was my wow. big influence. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Thank you so much for that. So guys, see, you're already enjoying like an exclusive interview already. <laughs> I mean, uh, wow, wow. So inspiring, Joyce, you are. And um, she's brought the heat, you know, so we, we've got to go for a break. Mm-hmm. We don't want the fire to burn this whole place down, you know, so we need to just cool down. So we're going to go for a quick break, but... um. You, you guys, you're going to love this. She has this wonderful music video called I Bless Your Name. And I'm going to ask Joyce to introduce that uh, to you guys. Uh, I Bless Your Name. But tell us a little bit about it. Okay, so I Bless Your Name. Um, again, it's it's quite an up-tempo song. So I, I did a lot of work because I am very creative by the special grace of God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, yeah, a lot of the directing you know, was like, came from me. <laughs> so guys, we have a director, so we have a video director. So guys, we let you enjoy this wonderful music video. Once again, I bless your name by Joyce Ochele. <laughs> and we'll be right back. Shoggy Shog's TV show broadcasts weekly to millions of viewers and thousands of listeners all over the world, both on TV and radio. You can sponsor this show at an affordable rate and also showcase your platform for optimum exposure. Artists with music videos, companies, small businesses are all welcome. For rates and inquiries, email pr at shogspr.com. In the United Kingdom, call plus 447960353718. Rest of world, call plus 254112577725. Bless your name From the rising of the sun To the setting of the sun I bless your name Every knee shall bow And every tongue confess God you reign So I give you all the blessing And the glory and the honor And the power and all the praise So I bless your name
So welcome back to the Shoggy Shocks TV show. Hope you enjoyed that wonderful music video. And um, you see that the video was really colorful, beautiful video, a lot of activity. And um, <laughs> you did the choreography as well. Yes, I did. So you dance? Yeah, I do dance. Is there anything you don't do? <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything she doesn't do? She would tell us. But uh, yeah. I still have my special guest with me, Joyce Ochele. And um, uh, before we go any further, I just want you to do us a favor. You can follow our socials very important so if you go on twitter and instagram it's at sstv show you see it on your screen that's at sstv show that's both both on twitter and instagram and on tiktok it's shoggy shogs tv show so that's uh, tiktok and youtube shoggy shogs tv show and the facebook is shoggy shogs tv show if you want to see some of the behind the scenes know a little bit more about some of the other episodes coming up and some other stuff that we're not sharing on the screen that is the best place to go and what you can do as well just share with others it's free it won't cost you anything tell other people about this wonderful show and get them to follow our socials as well back to my guest you are a living testimony and you know that <laughs> yes there's some testimonies that are dead like you know people are dead and you don't have to speak about them but she's a living testimony now your face got paralyzed yeah when you were your ninth month of pregnancy mm -hmm. with your first child that, yeah. and this was like probably roughly 13 years ago yes <laughs> and also at the time so i know there's so many but i'll just mention two at the time you could not talk properly yeah you could not chew properly yeah and guys that's a huge thing for an african <laughs> because we have a lot of chew foods and a lot of we need to chew with what we the kind of soups that we have the agusi soups and the ogbonos and and the meats you know uh, you know we have so many different kind of meats in africa so mm -hmm. you need to be able to chew so you couldn't talk properly you couldn't chew properly and fluids were leaking out of your mouth yes wow and there was no way that you could even sing no <laughs> but you do sing so how did god Doing. Yeah, like you said, I was pregnant, heavily pregnant um, at the time, and um, I used to be in the choir at that time. You know, I was, I've always been in the choir, so I was in the choir. A friend of mine came to the, to the house, you know, to visit me, and um, she was my friend from, you know, secondary school, and so I was making her hair, and I kept asking her. Was this Nigeria? Or this was in Aberdeen, Scotland, and I kept saying to her because at the time that's when half of my face was getting paralyzed, but wow. I didn't know, so I kept saying to her. Um, is this side of my face swollen because what was happening was the side that was paralyzing I wasn't feeling it anymore wow. so the side that was still working was feeling swollen okay. so I kept saying to her is this swollen she said no but I kept going to the mirror and I could see it was normal but I kept, I kept feeling that way you had a sensation yeah and then I slept and then I woke up in the morning and that's when wow. I realized that half of my face was gone I couldn't speak I, I went to brush and I realized I couldn't open my mouth wow when I got to the hospital, the, the consultant said it was Bell's palsy. Um, and him and several of the doctors that were there said to me that um, this condition usually never goes away. And wow. that, yeah, that if it, even if it goes away, it might take at least eight months. And that I had to go on steroid tablets. So I had to take 100 steroid tablets. Wow. So 10 every day for 10 days. I remind I was nine months pregnant. Yeah. And um, yeah, I, I was worried and I said to the consultant, I'm, I'm, I'm pregnant here because I know that, you know, usually when you're pregnant, they'll say only paracetamol. And now I'm supposed to take 100 mm. steroid tablets in 10 days. And he said, well, that the child is fully formed now. They can mm. just take the child out. Wow. And so it wouldn't really affect the child. But if there's any chance for this to even work, I need to take them. So I have wow. to go on them. Yeah. And yeah, so, I, you know, but when I remember when the consultant said to me that my, this might never go away. I remember speaking out of the corner of my mouth mm. and I said to him, I said, it will go away. Wow. I was so sure. I was so sure. And when the consultant left, I told my friend that, you know, rushed me to the hospital. I told her about a book. It's called Delivered from Destruction. It's written by Faith Oyedipo. Okay. Um, it's, it's the, she's the wife of Bishop David Oyedipo. It's a ministry, a worldwide ministry called Winners Chapel, Living Faith Church. And it's called Delivered from Destruction. It was a book she wrote when she was going through a health crisis. Yeah. So I told my friend, I told her where it was. I gave her my house keys and she went to my house and got the book for me. Mm. And she brought it to me to the hospital. At the time, I couldn't pray. I was weak. I was mm. just lethargic and I couldn't even speak. 
So, but what I did do was every single day I would yeah. wake up, there's a page in the book, page 38, I'll never forget. Okay. It's a page full of healing scriptures. Wow. So I would just open the page and read through that page every day. And that what that did for me was it jacked up my faith. Mm. And it always just made me believe that I'm never going to be paralyzed forever. Wow. I'm going to be able to speak. I'm going to be able to sing, you know. That's what that did for me. Wow. And yeah, that was where my miracle began from, where I mm. believed that I was going to be yeah. healed. So even when people came to see me in the hospital, when I had, you know, my daughter and they were crying because they're like, oh my God, this beautiful <laughs> girl, what has happened to her? You know, wow. they were so shocked to see me like that. Well, I wasn't face. worried. Mm. I wasn't worried. I was happy. Oh, wow. I just had a child. I didn't even think about my face because mm. I knew I was not going to remain like wow. that forever. And that's what happened because guess what? About two months later or so when I, you know, been discharged and then I went back because when I had to keep going back because of my face. Well, the first time I went back, the consultant that I saw said to me that if not because he was a trained eye, he wouldn't have known that there was a paralysis well, was on my face. Yeah, because wow. that's how much my face had improved. Mm. You know, it was because it was a trained eye that he could still see the drooping, you know. Okay. But by then it was much, much gone. And within wow. less than three months, it was completely gone. This wow. was something that I was told that it wasn't going to go. Mm. But I know that it was the faith I had and, mm. you know, that cause that miracle to come to pass. Amen, amen. Thank you so much for sharing that with mm -hmm. us. And um, guys, um, there's power in miracles. Uh, yes. a, we serve a God of, of miracles. So mm -hmm. I will uh, beseech you to attach yourself and tap from this powerful miracle. Yeah. What a wonderful one. And it's such a honor to hear it straight from you because at times <laughs> you can read it in a book or yeah. hear it somewhere. Mm -hmm. But you know, you are here, you're telling us so. Yeah. We're so honored to, yeah, to just have give that me a privilege. Version. <laughs> <laughs> a brief, exactly, yeah. exactly. Um, you hold a Bachelor of Science uh, degree in geography. Yeah. Wow, I used to love geography <laughs> back in the days. And you have a master's degree in corporate communication uh -huh. and public affairs. Yeah. So, guys, you can communicate <laughs> at a higher level, more than we bear <laughs> mortals. Okay. Um, so, th to me, this uh, makes you a woman of diverse knowledge and talent. Yeah. You know? You agree, okay? Because I need to always be checking with Joyce, you know, <laughs> if, she, if we are still on the same page. Okay, so now you're a mom. Yeah. You also walk as well. Yeah. You sing. Mm -hmm. All these like, you know, even being a mom is like a full-time job, <laughs> you know? So um, you're pursuing your dream and mm -hmm. you're doing it very well. Mm -hmm. And I know more is coming. I can feel it in my bones. Yeah. Um, but there are a lot of women out there who want to pursue their dreams maybe before they actually got married. They were a lawyer, a solicitor maybe an artist, whatever, mm, mm. a singer. And then as soon as they gave birth to kids and became a full-time mom, they just had to throw that, you know, to the side because mm. it's so difficult to combine all those together. Mm -hmm. So how do you do it? And what would you say to uh, a woman that's admiring you right about now? Like, you know, how is she doing it? <laughs> yeah, Shogi, you did say she's a super woman. She's a super mom. That's true. <laughs> but how can I do it as well? What, what can you say to them? Um, first of all, um, the source of all strength is God. Oof. Um, like let's that. not forget that. Um, and I don't say this because it's a cliche. I say this because that's actually what works for mm. me. I don't, I don't even, when I, I'm going to stop myself there now, because I was going to say, I don't even know how I do it, but wow. then it's the Holy Spirit that does it, you know, because I cannot fathom how it all works. You mm. know, I have my work going on. I have my, you know, my music work yeah. going on. I have my family. I have my son. Wow. <laughs> You know, it has it has to be God. You know, I, I, you know. And the music is not just music singing. Mm -hmm. You've got to write. Yeah. You've got to go to the studio, yeah. record, uh -huh. go through all the processes. Yeah. And then even when you do the music video, yeah. Instead of you to just like we know, because I'm an artist as well. We know my artists. We just sit back and let a director do everything, and she has to co-direct again, <laughs> yeah. do the choreography. Yeah. That's a lot. Yeah. I know it's it is yeah you know and then obviously you have choir and all of that wow. as well in the mix so yeah for for you know good period right now I'm I'm in a bit of a transition but for a good period of time in there when I was working on all these songs I was also directing the choir wow. and I was also the treasurer of a women's fellowship wow. in church <laughs> okay so those two things already are like draining you know but and then you add the music my family but one thing I know God did for me was I always never left anything behind you know okay. God gave me the strength to always prioritize everything mm. to always do everything so i always made sure my family was taken care of you know my job my everything because i did at the, you want to make sure that your family is probably taken care of mm. before you you know yeah. spread your tentacles very important and so that's one thing god helped me to do so yeah lean on god lean on the word of god always encourage yourself some days i wake up and i actually speak to myself loud 
Like, you know, mm. I'm telling, I sit, when I'm starting to feel down, I say to myself, Joyce, you can do all things wow. through Christ that, that strengthens, strengthens you. you. You like the book of Philippians, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> That's another one for me. That's one of my and Daddy loves Philippians as well, obviously. Yeah. So, it, it get, yeah, you have to get real. It gets even to that point where I have to open my mouth and speak to myself. Wow. Bible says, encourage yourself yeah. in the Lord. Yes, Joyce, uh, we, we have to talk about um, some of your dailies, your, da- your daily routines. Uh-huh. Um, it's more tedious than probably the normal. Uh-huh. Like, you know, when I said the normal due to the health challenges that your son has. Yeah. Um, And I'm so proud of you because you're even willing to share about this because Mm -hmm. at at times it's not to knock anyone that cannot share about it. Some Mm. people are not Mm. comfortable sharing it. Mm. They don't have the bonus. Yeah. Or they just feel, you know, I just want to keep it private. And you could have done that. Yeah. But I always believe that even when we read the Bible, for instance, and we read uh, about Jesus and about some of the prophets and even like for instance about David, Mm. they could have kept a lot of those things hidden. Yeah. But we can learn from their strengths and from their mistakes as well. Yeah. Like someone like uh, Noah, that was, he, he, they even, he made wine and he was drunk. Mm. The Bible could have just edited that part mm. out, but it lets you know they were human beings, but in spite of all what they were going through, mm. they were still able to seek God mm. and do great exploits. Yeah. So uh, first of all, that put a huge smile on my face that you're willing to share about that. Yeah. But um, the reason why I want you to share about it is like, you know, obviously, let us understand the experience mm. that you go through every day. Yeah. It's not like a, a part-time thing mm. for now, do you understand? We know <laughs> yeah. there's nothing God cannot do. Yeah. But like, because you've done yesterday, it doesn't mean you're not going to do tomorrow. Mm. And even the mental strength to know uh. that you know what you go through, yeah. you still have to do it again and yeah. again. So guys, I'm not letting you know, she will let us know exactly yeah. how it is. That is a lot. Yeah. But the ma- amazing thing is like, there are millions out there mm. who are going through maybe some similar things and some just don't know how to cope. So that's mm. why I'm so glad that you're going to share this uh, experience with us and it will strengthen myself and everyone that is watching. Yeah. Over to you. Yeah, yeah. In fact, I'm, I'm really honoured to be able to do this. Um, and like you say, it's not easy to, to, you know, to come out and share. That's definitely something I wasn't, you know, it wasn't in my itinerary to do, you know, years ago. I mean, I was, I've been dealing with, my son is nine now. So we've been dealing with this since he was just about turning two. Wow. Um, so yeah, we, I, I, I never came out with it for a long time until about two years ago when okay. it was a direct instruction from the Holy Spirit wow. to say, I need you to share your story. I want people to be encouraged. I want people to be, you know, challenged positively mm. to know that they can do all things, you know, when they have me with them. So yeah. I went, when, you know, the Holy Spirit approached me with this, I went to my husband. It wasn't easy because mm. it's definitely not something you want to put out there. Yeah. Um, and I went to my husband, I said to him, this is what the instruction I've received. Um, and so my husband said, and I prayed about it first okay. because my husband is also a very private person. So I did, you know, I already, like, I could see, I, wow. I envisioned that he would say, oh, no, 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 I'm not comfortable. So I prayed about it first. Okay. I said, Holy Spirit, if this is you telling mm. me to, to come out with this, when I go and meet my husband, yeah. let him be on the same page okay. with me. And that's exactly what happened. You know, he said, you know, and both because we are both on the same page in terms of being private with when it comes to our son. But then this is now the instruction from God. So and that was that because, you know, my son suffers from uh, several conditions. You know, he's severe autism, uh, severe ADHD, mm-hmm. severe, de- severe developmental delay. He's nonverbal. He has pica. There's this. It's a condition where you eat and swallow inedible objects, mm. bowel problems. So, wow. there's a yeah, sleep sleep disorder as well. Um, and there's a, something that he suffers from, like a hallucination type thing, but it's not mm. diagnosed as hallucinations okay. because he's a child. So, they call it terror episodes. So, you can see there's a whole range of, yeah. <laughs> you know, diagnosis there. I mean, just one of those things is heavy enough. You know, if you take sleep disorder, yeah. yeah. Well. So one of them is heavy enough to to mm. you know just engulf any person. But then we have like loads of them wow. to deal with. You know, with one child, it's immensely. Um, gr- I don't know what word to describe it, but mm. it's indescribable yeah. how hard mm. our lives are on a daily basis, wow. day and night. I will say because of this the sleep mm. disorder, and um, it's hard. I can't, I, you know, without going into further details, mm-hmm. especially now he's getting bigger and yeah. stronger. It's it, the challenges every day comes with a new challenge, comes with a new diagnosis. Mm. It's just hard. But in all this, um, 
again i will say that's why when i went back and i said when i say god is the true source of strength it's not just cliche for me at least it's not it's because i wake wake up sometimes in the day or at night when maybe he's having an episode in the middle of the night and i've not slept for four or five days wow. and i'm just and my sleep is now obviously not has it you know it's gone it's non-existent and i'm lying there and i'm just waiting for him to wake up you know even on nights when he doesn't wake up mm. and then obviously maybe on the night when he wakes up and i'm just thinking oh god give me the strength yeah. and that's literally just the oh god give me the strength so that's why i said it's god that does it it cannot be me there was a time in the beginning in the early stages of his you know when i when you know about when he was about two three you know yeah. when he was trying to be diagnosed when i was going from hospital i still go to from hospital to hospital that's like been my life since he's been like this but you know when he first started you can imagine how hard it is mm. when you just come to terms with oh my gosh what's going on yeah. with my little child and i was so worried i, I got he developed around when he was two yeah and he used to act like he's seeing and hearing things and mm. obviously that put so much fear in my heart that mm. i was struggling to sleep at night wow. you know so and at that time i remember it was literally a scripture in the bible that used to help me sleep um isaiah chapter 41 verse 10 i would literally have to open mm. it and read fear not for i am with you mm. if i don't read that scripture i can't sleep you know but when it came time for me to start working on music imagine what i'm dealing with yeah and i'm like i can't do this you know yeah. but you know god when you lean on god he mm. will give you you know the inspiration he will yeah. give you you know and when it comes to my writing music and all that i don't sit and write god just drops it into wow. me so for example see you like with i bless your name i'd taken my daughter for a swimming lesson and um, then while she's swimming i had my son with me my husband traveled and we can't really sit down because of his situation we can't mm -hmm. sit in the waiting area he's really hyperactive and very destructive so when she's inside swimming i just come out of the complex and i pace about the building okay. with him so it was this beautiful autumn day and, you know, leaves were falling. So I was pacing about. So as the leaves were falling, by then I'd already written the chorus of I Bless Your Name. Yeah. So as the leaves were falling, that's how the Holy Spirit dropped the, the verse of the song to me. Seasons come and they go. You remain the same. I bless your name. Wow. And that's literally how the verse of wow. that song came to me when I was pacing about with my mm. son, you know, trying to keep him calm during my daughter's swimming lesson. Wow. So that's an example of how daily living, you know, mm. like just leaning on God, yeah. you know, and then with the music, the Holy Spirit just throws it in, mm. you know, brings the opportunity, throws it in. Yeah. And yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> raise it, raise yeah. it. It's just like uh, reading a storybook. <laughs> and um, if you haven't written a book, you definitely need to. You need to. Sorry. <laughs> More work, but you need to because people need to read about this. Um, mm. I love a scripture that says you don't light a, a candle and you put it you know under a bushel you have mm. to put it somewhere where everyone will see it and glorify your father in heaven and there are mm. a lot of people who yeah, there's some people out there who know how to advise but they haven't mm. gone through it mm. so it doesn't look really real but when yeah. you have someone that's that's actually living, living it, it. And, yeah <laughs> and you want to say what she said in living it people are even willing more to listen because they mm. know that you're not just yeah um reading from a textbook mm, or mm, a script mm. you actually know what you're talking about and yeah. god has given you a solution of, of how to cope and how to still live mm. and still do exploits in, in in the midst of what you're going through mm. so wow wow guys we're getting very close <laughs> to the end of this show but um um wow wow amazing i just <laughs> i just i'm totally blown away and um, <laughs> we, we get to see the bio see the profile with the team you know try to draft questions and um you you think you've read it all but still <laughs> you know you've brought it more alive and i'm like wow 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 and i have to compose myself because you don't want me crying like, shoggy you're crying <laughs> You know, there's nothing wrong in crying, but uh, not right now. So I have to hold it because even you, when you were, I caught a little bit of your emotion. I, mm. I could see that you were trying to hold mm, it in. Mm, but um, mm. yeah, and that shows how real uh, this is. Joyce is going to give us some parting words. But before we do that, we need to talk about um, you, what you're working on right now. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we have um, a song that we're going to play out with, mm -hmm. which is Psalm 20. Yeah. Um, so I want you to do two things. Mm -hmm. Before we play out that song, Psalm 20, there's a very inspirational thing that happened when you were working on this song. Yes. You said your son doesn't speak. Yeah. Um, but he was humming this song. Yeah. So when I saw this, I was like, maybe you've, and then I remember what mommy mm -hmm. said, like, you know, you always sing anyway. Like, if you can sing and just stop 
I said disturb. I'm sure most of the commuters were enjoying, <clears throat> you know, Joyce's beautiful voice. Mm. But like, if you could do that out, outside, definitely indoors, you're doing that. <laughs> and you did it to the point that your song was, he even knew the song before the song <laughs> was released. But to me, it hit me because like, he doesn't speak, but he was humming. Yeah. So I'd love you to share a little bit about that with us and also maybe uh, the project that you're working on. Uh, yeah. Um, so Psalm 20, I think, you know, the Holy Spirit, you know, worked in just great and mighty ways. Prior to Sub 20, I did not plan to do any professional music at all. I was just okay. happy to be in the choir, you know, doing my thing in the church was that and all debut of that. Song? Yeah, that was my debut single. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and so on this day, I'd had a very, very rough day. I think I'd had two different appointments for him in two wow. different hospitals. Um, normally, because obviously I'm very upbeat and I try not to you know let anything get me down so no matter what goes on i i just keep pushing and i just keep going mm. i'm just like i'm not going to be down but you know there's those very rare days when it just call all just comes to you so on this day i was just so exhausted and i'm so, i'm exhausted all the time but on this day i don't know mm. why it got me down so when it was time for because we do a family prayer in the evening okay so when it was time to pray my husband was you know away at work and we we're about to do our night devotion me and my daughter and him and I could just feel myself so down and I didn't want it them. I didn't want it to project onto them. You know, I didn't want them to, the kids to see I'm like feeling sad and all of that. So I just needed a scripture that would lift up my spirit. Okay. And I just remembered, you know, my dad, he's a pastor. Um, he has, gave, he always gives me bombardment with loads of scriptures. And there was this scripture he gave me very early on when this challenge started. And I just remembered it's Psalm 20 wow. and I just opened to it because I wanted something that would jack me up from okay. that day I was feeling. So when I opened to it, instead of reading it, I began to sing it. Wow. <laughs> Literally, that's how that song came about. <laughs> and so I sang right through that, that wow. thing. Even at that time, I didn't plan to write it or release it or anything. I just sang right through it and then we prayed. And as soon as I sang right through it, I just felt a lifting in my spirit. Mm. I felt happy again and I was just, we just went back to normal routine, finished praying, went upstairs to put the kids to bed. And then when I went upstairs to put the kids to bed, uh, my son began to hum the song okay. that I just sang through the Bible, wow. you know. And it's funny because even though I didn't plan to do music professionally, I always write songs. I have so much songs and I sing them all the time in the house. Everyone in the house knows yeah. the songs, you know, except everyone outside. <laughs> but my husband knows the kids know because I think, yeah. But with this Psalm 20, I think that's what the Holy Spirit wanted me to just say, tell me that I want you to go out and start mm. this thing. So yeah, when I took them upstairs to bed, my son began to hum the song. Wow. But I did, at that time, I still didn't even take it like, oh, it's something I'm going to write and produce or anything. No. So my daughter goes, Oh, Gabriel, tell me your song, mommy, you know, and then even when I saw, started singing through it downstairs when we we're praying, my daughter yeah. was like, oh, mommy, you're writing another song again. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, that was that. Then the next morning I was preparing them for school. Even I had forgotten what I sang yeah. through Psalm oh. 20. The next morning I was praying for them from school and then my son begins humming it again. Yeah. And I was like, whoa, wow. okay. So it was at that point that I got the ministration from the Holy Spirit that I want you to actually write this song proper, like produce, you know, write, not produce, but write this song. Yeah. So I then went and grabbed, you know, when he went off to school, because when he was humming again, then I grabbed my phone and I was recording because I'd forgotten mm -hmm. what I did, but he reminded me. So when he went off to school, I then got, grabbed my Bible and, you know, sort of memorized it. And that's how this song came wow. about. Wow. Yeah. And even when it came about, I wasn't planning to do it. It was just going to be one of my numerous songs I write yeah. and put it somewhere, mm -hmm. you know. But then the Holy Spirit kept impressing mm. upon me. And then I thought, okay, maybe I'll just do a cover of it, put it on my WhatsApp status or Facebook or somewhere, just nothing professional. Mm. So I got in touch with the keyboardist at church and I said, I have this song and the Holy Spirit won't let me rest about it. So can you maybe listen to it and mm. maybe play a keyboard thing okay. for me? And then I'll just, my daughter can video us and I'll put it out. Yeah. And so um, the, the keyboardist listened to it and he was like, you have to do this professionally. I'm happy to play this for you and you can do like an amateur thing, you know, yeah. but I want you to take this to the studio and I was like, mm. ah, no, 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 ah, my life is too busy, you know, because yeah. I was, I was, you know, simply put, I just couldn't fathom adding music to the, you yeah. know, I've just described my life to you. And I was like, oh, no, it's fine. I'll just do the, you know, my daughter can just video us. We can yeah. just sit in church. You can play it. And then, and then that's it. I've obeyed the Holy Spirit. Mm. But when my husband came back from work, I told him the conversation with the keyboardist. And, and I was hoping he'll be on my side, like, um, no, I don't want to do this, but, you know, because he knows we, what we go through in the house. And so when I said to him, the keyboard, he said, I should do it professionally. I was hoping he'll be like, no, we're too, ah, no, we're too stressed. 
He was like, yeah, I think wow. you should do this. I was shocked. I was When he said it, I was like, are we living in the same house? <laughs> I was like, no, we can't add this to our life. And he was like, no, don't worry. Yeah. Do it, do it well. Anything you want to do for God, do it well. I see how you have very little time, but even that very little time you have, mm-hmm. you used to do your choir directing work, you used to do, you know, the treasurer and all of those things yeah. you do in church, everything, teaching the children in church. Yeah. If God has given you something to do, you might as well do it well for mm-hmm. him. And God will give all of us the grace to do it. When you want yeah. to go to the studio, I'll look after him. Wow. You know, I'll look after our son and you can go to the studio mm-hmm. and do your thing. And so that gave me the strength and the push I needed to start. I was like, okay, Amazing. if he is not even agreeing with me that wanted to say no, then I mean, the Holy Spirit is sending me. So that's literally how that song got released. Wow. Wow. And, um, and the very next month, it went on to win the number one contemporary gospel song of the year in wow. the UK. You know, the Step Forward charts. Yeah, that UK the, um, yeah the UK Christian chart. Welcome to the Step Forward Awards. Powered by the UK Christian Charts and this year's Electronic and Dance. Song of the Year nominees are Move, Worship for Everyone featuring Daisy Drake, Noah Smith. To the Heavens, Wild. Lamb of God, Lorene Cato. I bless your name, Joyce O'Chell. Back in time, LZ7. One more dance, ODO featuring Jules. Lifeline, Line of Judah. Hope Alive, Yemi Alafi Fun. Love the Way, All Star Kids Worship featuring Triple But that will lead to your latest project. You're working on some things and you're working on an EP or an album? Yes, well, I'm going to work on a few singles that would all, you know, form an album. So I'm working right now on my next single. This was actually one of the oldest songs I'd written. Okay. But I've only gotten the leading now to, you know, go, go on with yeah. it. So yeah, I am really looking forward to it, honestly. Wow. Um, I mean, on the drive here, I was playing it right, like on repeat constantly. Wow. amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much, Joyce. Time yeah. flies, but um, I'm so glad that we touched a lot of things. Yeah. But before you go, I'd just love you to, uh, to look into the camera and just, you know, inspire not just women, mm. you know, men, young ones, you know, everybody. So over to you. Um, yes, um, to as many of you that um, have heard my story, you can t- you can see that I'm a like a living, breathing testimony. Basically, I'm not even supposed to be able to speak, let alone sing. But here I am singing, and that's why I'm able to sit here and talk to you. I want you to know that you know God is with you. I sit here and I'm talking and smiling. It's not because I don't have my, you know, very hard days. It's, it gets with, with the condition I've told you that my son has. Um, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It's hard and it gets harder by the day because it gets bigger and stronger. Um, but I don't see it as getting harder. That's not how I wake up and see it. I see it as God is giving me the strength and God has given me my son who's a miracle and a blessing to me. Mm-hmm. That's how I see it. Um, we all love him so much and i see it as you know I, you know i'm the one that's supposed to have this boy and that's why god has given him to me and mm. he's a miracle and he's a blessing so i see him as a blessing i don't see him as you know something hard to do so whatever that situation is that you're going through just know that if you don't have what it takes to deal with it you won't be going through it god will never give you anything that's wow. too hard for you to bear so know that i know that you have god that will take you through Every single day until you get to the end of the tunnel, there is light there and you have Jesus. The Holy Spirit lives inside of you to help you. Literally, he lives inside of you. So just believe that you you can do all things. You can do all things. So, yeah, um, be blessed out there. Well, guys, so um, (laughs) 
Uh, Jason said it all. Uh, we're going to play out with um, her wonderful music video, Sam 20. And then there's a little bracket, a little bit extra, a little bit. You know, Joyce is extra. You know, she's OTT sometimes, you know. So, like, you know, she wants to give more. She's not a selfish uh, or stingy woman. So, she's like, it's not just Sam 20 alone. There's a bracket when we call. So, you're going to enjoy this. Yeah. Enjoy it as we as we play out. And thank you so much, Joyce, for, for coming down and sharing your beautiful... I know we say story, but it's like testimonies. It's like values. You've shared a lot with us. Mm. And um, yeah, we, 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 we're blessed. Uh, I'm smiling more than how I was smiling you know, before the interview <laughs> because I've just been blessed. I'm trying to contain myself, but you have to write a book. And I know God will give you the grace Amen. to do it. So guys, Psalm 20, When We Call by Joyce uh, Ochele. And um, yeah, hope you've enjoyed this wonderful show. It's been a beautiful one. You know what we do here? We inspire and we encourage and we empower. And um, the great thing is like, as we're doing it, I'm partaking in it as well. I'm getting to be a better person as well. So thank you so much for your love. And once again, don't forget to download our app. It's uh, the LCBN TV UK. So you can get that for free on all the uh, smartphones or appliances. And you can get to enjoy this show and other shows. So come back for more and tell someone about this wonderful platform. Please, you can do that. And don't forget to follow us on the socials as SSTV Show, both on Twitter and Instagram, on TikTok, Shoggy Shogs TV Show, YouTube the same and Facebook the same. God bless you. See you soon. And keep on being inspired. Shoggy Shogs TV Show broadcasts weekly to millions of viewers and thousands of listeners all over the world, both on TV and radio. You can sponsor this show at an affordable rate and also showcase your platform for optimum exposure. Artists with music videos, companies, small businesses are all welcome. For rates and inquiries, email pr at shogspr.com. In the United Kingdom, call plus 447960353718. Rest of world, call plus 254112577725. This is Joyce Ochele. I'm a gospel artist. You are watching Shoggy Shogs TV show. It is Shoggy Shogs in the building.
Shoggy Shogs TV show brings you the best of sports stars, songwriters, broadcasters, footballers, inspirational speakers, and special guests from every corner of the globe straight to your screens. This show will bring you information, inspiration, empowerment, awareness, and entertainment on the TV through the mobile apps and online. It's Shoggy Shogs in the building.